Well, we'll see how well this starts up. Like I said, it hasn't been started since the, maybe the end of October, beginning of November. And my plow's buried all the way back in there, so I'll have to dig that out. We'll get it done. Well, we'll give her a choke in here. Get a little throttle going. See what happens. Uh oh, battery's dead. I guess that ain't gonna happen. Huh. Throw the charger on it, I reckon. Well, no go. Get her charged up. Well, got the charger on the tractor down there. Of course, I had to wall her back up through the snow to get a cord because that cord on that uh, charger is only four foot, won't reach my receptacle. So I'm in the old Dodge. We'll see if that'll this will start up. Hopefully the battery ain't dead in this. Should start pretty easy. Started pretty easy after it set for three months. It's tight. Cold. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Battery's weak in this too. she goes. It's definitely cold. I had faith in it though. I knew it would start. We might as well let this set here and warm up a little bit. That charge has been on there for about 10 minutes now. Well, try two. Got the charger on engine start, so let's see what happens. Almost. probably going to die on me sooner or later. It is four years old. Well, the track is four years old. Now, get it out of there. Get that plow dug out. Rip the friggin' deck off. Well, got the plow on. It only takes about ten minutes to change that over. That's what's nice about that. The only downfall is, is putting the deck back on and getting that PTO line back up. That's a pain in the neck. I'm going to take the old Kubota and see if we can't wall her up around there, get up front with it. I did it a couple years ago in about 9 or 10 inches of snow. I think it'll go through 6 no problem. Thursday plowing the snow that we got last night and this morning. Got about six inches. Right now you can't tell, but he's plowing our driveway out. We're supposed to get more of this Thursday. It's supposed to go down into single digits tonight here in Pennsylvania. I'm ready to see the robins come back. See my daffodils coming up and we had to get more of this. That's where I feed my birds right there. Poor things are waiting up in the trees waiting to get fed. There he goes moving the old Dodge so he can plow behind.
Well, all done. A lot of work for my little tractor. Of course, the neighbor down there, he snowblowed some of it. He, he has a snowblower. I'm the only one up here on the hill that's got a plow to push it. I didn't get it all. I didn't get up there at Stanley's. I didn't get all that. About wear you out. Of course, I got to make sure I clean out from under the clotheslines in the yard, too, because the wife, she will not put clothes in the dryer, which I guess is a good thing because it saves a lot of money on electric. She'll come out here in 10 degree weather and hang them clothes up. They'll freeze dry. But it's all done. There's my little trail from, I tried to come up that hill this morning, but the tractor, he didn't like coming up that hill. I don't know, weight in the front end. That little four-wheel drive Kubota works good, though. Walked right out through there. Didn't even bore. Was even dragging. Well, enough of that. I'm going in. It's cold out here. Well, we'll see how well this starts up. Like I said, it hasn't been started since the, maybe the end of October, beginning of November. And my plow's buried all the way back in there, so I'll have to dig that out. Get it done.